guys and welcome back to my channel today we are going to do an update for once upon a pan and this is a fantastic ladies collab if you don't already know it is created by the amazing claire and you should definitely check her out and all the other ladies that has joined into this collab that we are jo that we are doing on youtube and instagram and we have eight products to work on uh, based on the tv show once upon a time which is definitely amazing if you haven't seen that show and you like the fairy tales and disney and stuff like that you should check that one out because it is quite good i love it i don't have any empties but i have some really nice progress that i want to share with you guys i actually have one goal hit already but i do think i am going to extend the goal and I will talk more about that when we get to the product, but let's just start off with the first one. I'm just going to say the names and then you can look in the description box for the description of the product and why I chose it. And check out my intro if you want to see why um, I chose it. But the first one is for MS1 and I have the NYX Angel Veil Primer and I have used this quite a bit since the intro of this project. It is the only face primer that I have. So obviously when I have one makeup, I am using this. And that has been quite a bit, even though I just had some vacation time where I wore sometimes minimal makeup, but I still wore this. So it has some air in it. Um, I started uh, the project right here. The product is still up to here, but I know that is air in it. So when that is gone, <laughs> I can mark it again, but for now I just mark it right here. But I do know I am further and I have no doubt that I can finish this before December. For Henry uh, Henry Mills, I chose my W7 Selfie Powder. And if you saw my intro and you can see at the picture that I have some uh, loose powder in it. So maybe you can see that the pan has expanded. I still have some powder in it because I mix some um, and I do work on a color correcting um, face powder that has some um, color correcting dots in it. When they broke off I crushed them up and put it into this because that is just the easiest way to use it when I use something um, loose in here already. So I'm working on this consistently and I have no doubt that I can finish it but I hope you can see the progress anyway. <laughs> I set my concealer every single time with this. It's the same thing with the primer. I use it every single time I wear my makeup. Then we have Snow and Charming and they are a couple. So I chose the same type of product for both of them even though I wasn't supposed to actually. Um, but I chose my two W7 lip twisters in red and pink. The pink one is for Charming and the red one is for Snow. I love W7 lip twisters because they are just amazing and I rely on them so much. And let me show you the progress. I have amazing progress for the pink and not so much for the red one because I only used it once. The pink one I have used quite consistently um, since I put it in. So here are my markings. That is for the red. As you can see, the red one doesn't have that much progress, but the pink one has quite a bit. Um, so I do think I can finish the pink one before next update. The red one is going very slow, but I only used it once, so that is why. For Regina, I chose my foundation from W7. It is the Face Fantasy Matte Finish Foundation. This is a foundation that I mix in with something else <laughs> because this is too light for me and I only have foundation in my collection that is too dark for me. Um, I'm still in between shades even though I have gotten a tan over the summer when I was on holiday and in the sun quite a bit. I didn't use this because I didn't have to mix my foundation but now I do it again because I have lost <laughs> some of the tan that I have gotten. Um, there's still some left but I only have minimal progress on this. Maybe it has been shook up or something because I have used this quite a bit and I am pretty sure that I have more progress than this. For gold I chose an eyeshadow from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and that is Creme Brulee and 
my goal was to hit pan on it and this was the palette that I brought with me the week of my, our vacation. The day that we left for vacation I actually hit my goal. My goal was to re-hit pan on this shade and I did. It took me two uses to hit pan again so I just use it uh, a lot on vacation and the pan is quite big on it now. I do think I can finish like half in this project. I do know I have quite a bit to work on, but a gold is a good contrast for some of the other shades that I'm working on. So my goal is definitely to use half and then we can see from there if I can even finish it completely by the finale. So that is my extended goal from Rehab pan to finish half. I don't want to set my up myself up for failure to finish it completely, but I do think it is possible if I put my mind to it, which is pretty exciting to finish an eyeshadow. I rarely do that. So yeah, it feels good to be working on this palette again. For Bill, I have my Clover Vaseline, Clover Vaseline. This is where I am now. I do know I have used it quite a bit in this region down here. So maybe you can see some progress. Maybe you can see it is flatter or something like that. I do know I have used it um, quite a bit on my lips actually and between my legs. Because of my belly, my pregnant belly, <laughs> I can't fit into my shorts underneath my dresses all the time. Some days I can and some days I can't. The days I can't, I use this in between my legs so I don't uh, get the, the heat heat bumps, I want to say. Um, it's not getting irritated in my thighs because they, they touch each other. I don't know how to describe it in English, but this helps me a lot so I don't get burns in between my thighs. Does that make sense? Is that TMI? I don't know. but. It is a, a tip for Vaseline if you have one. The last product I have is for Hook. I chose a pigment from Blush Tribe and this pigment is called the Cave of Wonders and my goal was to use this 10 times and so far I have used it once and I loved the look that came out of it. I have swatched it a few times but that was my first time trying it on. It held up amazingly. I did put a glitter glue underneath so it would stay. Um, it did and it applied beautifully with a brush and I was so happy with that look. I will insert a picture if I haven't already. It was very yellow toned. It wasn't gold gold but it was really really beautiful. This is the color. I do think I can hit my goal. I just need to use it more than only once. A month. That was everything for this update. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more videos in this um, series or project or whatever, you can check out the other ladies that has joined. They will be linked down below as always with the master list. And check out Claire if you haven't already. She is amazing and she is so consistent with her videos. <laughs> Much more than me, I think. Um, and she is just amazing. You will love her just as much as I do. And I hope you guys enjoyed and until my next video, please take care. Bye.